Hey everyone, and welcome to our top 5 plays of this past weekend's EU and NA Fall Cup. The Gosu Crew finds a way. Starting at number 5, the Gosu Crew's backs are against the wall, with Absurge's mana completely tapped and their entire team's health dropping low. Their comeback starts with the almost dead Peekaboo putting Trill into a kidney shot, which he decides to trinket offensively, something that comes back to bite him later on as Wizkei uses his panda racial to land a fear on Sidu with just seconds remaining on his trinket. Over on him, doesn't look like it. Root beam now over onto Absurge. Nice interrupt coming in from Trill, and Absurge is going to have to sit that CC into a mana burn. Good night, Absurge's mana, and almost good night, Peekaboo. I mean, look at the entire team right now. If I was Absurge, I would be screaming, everybody is so dangerously low. Trill just switching to whoever he wants. He forces a defensive, switches to a different target. Whiskey goes for oh. the miracle play. The psychic scream, no trinket for two no seconds. Way. A two second window. No and way. they take it. Next up at number four, we see Method Black on Dalaran Arena, a map that heavily favors the Turbo Cleave in this matchup. With both Waz and Chas out of cooldowns, it looks all but over for Method Black when Chas trinkets a Stormbolt and gets put into a full fear. But a clutch shadow step on Minpoike allows Waz to safely cross the map and survive, and then go on to win the game. Still big burst going out on the Nixie. Has to play it a little bit safe. All right, Stormbolt on Chaz. Waz ah! in trouble. Waz trinkets, but he doesn't have anything for eight more seconds. He defends, he shadow steps to Minpoike. Minpoike gave Waz a getaway target. He didn't have anyone else to shadow step to. Waz getting a cheeky restuff. Kidney shot with no trinket. Frozen Orb. Then the Black might just pull off a miracle. Lo Jamie's off heels are the only thing keeping Nixie going right now. Defensive fear. Nixie hands on. Jamie's oom. Nixie falls. And Method Black do it. <laughs> Can't believe it. Moving on to number 3, XRB are one game away from reaching the Grand Finals after winning two games in Deep Dampening. This time however, they've had enough and go all in for a kill on Minpoike, which Looney enables with an excellent Ursul's Vortex on Minpoike's Wild Charge, followed up by a DR Bash. A nice little swap over on Minpoike. This is where XRB to the moon is really found. <laughs> Just missing out on first place is Method Orange's incredible recovery against the Gosu crew. With a few seconds left on Sidu's Ascendance, he just about keeps Samael alive, which allows him to Cyclone Peekaboo and give Method Orange time to move around the pillar and recover. And just when it seems like it's over, Trill uses an excellent reverse magic on Sidu's Root Beam, which allows him to get his Ascendance back, and another perfect Cyclone on Peekaboo lets Sidu cast a couple healing surges without the risk of being kicked to finally recover and allow his team to turn the game around. Between Trill and himself behind the pillar, Trill is forced to retreat away. Samayam is low. He's in trouble. Method Orange, they're on the rope. Sidu drops his fear link, connecting the health of his team members. He needs six more seconds. Five more seconds. Is Sidu going to make it to that critical point? He's buying a couple more seconds. Caught the solar beam. Reverse magic from Trill. Sidu pops out of sentence as soon as he gets it. Trying to bank a heal. Gets wind sheared. Good denial by Absturge. Great follow up by Peekaboo. Sidu needs to start getting some healing surges. He gets one. He gets two, he gets three in a row. No shadow step kick at the final second. Whiskey is still dangerously low as well. As no way. Prison to no he's way. Gonna he's gonna recover and take game number four and put Ooh, the trill, 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 trill. on match point. Before we move on to our number one spot, we have an honorable mention looking at XRB's 2v3, which knocked making a movie to the lower bracket. After Zipai goes down, Blizzo is able to take out Marrow with his Serenity, and later on a clutch hex by Looney onto Ratapai's Resto Druid gives Blizzo enough time to take out Aquilos with Touch of Death. Clutches a bash in the final seconds, and Zipai is going to fall, but Marrow could fall just at the same second as well. Blizzo can stay on target. He's Serenity! He can no! Lost kill! Zero, zero mana left! Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Morrow gets deleted out of the game, and now we're down to a 2v2, 40% dampening. Ratify completely tapped on mana. Looney completely tapped on mana. This is looking like it might be in favor of making a movie in this matchup. Blizzard, he does have the touch of karma, but not going to be too tanky. Good system damage going to be coming up from Acro in this matchup. I'm very curious to see who pulls ahead. Blizzard caught into a kidney shot. There's nothing left for him. Looney's trying to find a hex maybe in the nick of time, but even still, if he gets it, I don't think they can keep it going. He goes for the leg sweep, Ben. Trinity, kill him. A lot of burst damage on Akron, they don't have anything. No Iron Bark, no Evasion, no nothing. But Blizzard just can't find the damage. Rise Exception comes in, hacks over onto Ratapai. Akro flailing to death. stay alive with that touch of death. Ratapai, how are you going to keep him alive? Disarm now over on Akro, touch of death. Still ticking down Whoa. as he gets lower and lower. Taking down XRB to the moon, cleans up. Oh. Excellently done by Blizzo wow. and Looney. Finally, at number one, with Method Black's Tournament Dream on the line, at 2 on down, it looks all but hopeless for them as Daily Feed bring Waz down to below 10% health. 
Raikou frosts Nova the DPS and slows them with Cone of Cold, while Waz tries desperately to get away with his Bladestorm. And just as it seems like it's all over for them, Chas goes for a Cyclone onto Rezuz and just barely keeps Waz alive long enough for Iron Bark to come off cooldown and allow Method Black to turn the game around. Call for Waz there, Dive of the Sword and the Iron Marker trade out just because they did not respect the Serenity. They needed to preemptively use one of those cooldowns. And now that's the right. They're in a scary Dude, spot. They keep doing this. They, they choked through Veiled Eye. They didn't get the cooldown. Now Waz is still in danger. He's burn. actually going to die. He has die. no mobility. If they stay on him, he's dead. It, it, Chaz has nothing. Waz is just going to die. And Method Black this is going to go home. No. What is Earth? What? This is completely one-sided the entire game as Waz hangs on by a thread at 51% damage. This is their tournament lives on the line. Chaz can't handle it. He's spamming regrowth, but it's not enough to clone Rezus at low health. Waz is just bouncing, dampening so high he can't top him. Rezus could die out of this clone as well. Raikou landing a lot of polys on Drainers. Could potentially be a cross kill get to catch the stun on Waz. He's got Iron Bark for it, but Rezus is trying to go for a ray of frost. They storm on Rezus. There's nothing left for him. Drainer gets fully cloned and Method Black. Managed to stay alive, bringing it to game number five. Okay, everyone, that's it for now. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please let us know in the comments below what you thought and if you want to see more like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.